Hello. Thanks for watching. You had options. Uh, this episode, I have Justin from the New York band Next Scars. They have a new album, Don't Panic Out, on uh, sorry on Sell the Heart Records. Uh, go check that out. It's great. Tons of riffs, riffs upon riffs upon riffs. Um, yeah. Uh, hold on. There's there's a new You Had Options shirt that you should go buy. Uh, go to thehandsomescoundrels.com slash shop and it's in there. Hold on. I should have had this ready, but I'm bad. There you go. I'm bad as I want to be. Look at that. Huh? Quality. Yeah. Go to thehandsomescoundrels.com slash shop. It's there. Go check out Next Scars on Instagram. Give them a follow. It's at Next Scars. Go follow You at Options. At You at Options. Thank you for listening. I love you. Justin, thanks for joining me. Hello, man. How, how are you? Uh, pretty good. Yeah? Uh, yeah. How, how is COVID um, the, or, or treating you? Uh, not bad. Uh, I was able to stay uh, working the entire time. Nice. So that's yeah. my rules. Uh, I work in like construction fields, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, I was able to stay afloat the entire time, didn't get laid off. And now it's like things are starting to open up again, but are they really? Cause I don't know, <laughs> man. It's not looking good. Uh, are you in New York, New York? No, I live in uh, Beacon, New York, which is okay. like uh, 110 minutes north mm. of New York City. Okay. Yeah. Uh have you have you been in that part of the country your whole life? Uh, I grew up in like Westchester area, which is probably half hour south of where I am now. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. Is is there any type of scene w- where you are right now? Where I am right now? Uh, yeah, there's like a like a huge Hudson Valley hardcore scene. I don't know if like you're privy to like that. Or if you're into that, but if you listen to like uh, like Axe to Grind podcast or anything like that, mm-hmm. like those dudes always talk about like the Hudson Valley and uh, yeah, they got like their scene, but it's like if you're not in it, you're you're not in it, right? right. So like if you're, if you're not friends with that those folk and like you're not playing shows with them, like those kids don't give a shit about your bands. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. There's man. bands like uh, Mind Force. You ever hear Mind Force? The name sounds familiar. Okay, yeah, they're like a pretty big hardcore band and uh you know they're branching out. Um but yeah, yeah, there's there's shows up here, I guess, and uh yeah, they're not bad. Have you in bands before uh Next Scars, have you been in have they been mainly punk? Have you been in hardcore bands? Yeah, I played in a hardcore band, uh called On the Loose. Okay. And uh those dudes, like our drummer was in like fucking war zone um, when he was a kid. Yeah. And uh, that was a band that they were called Shell Shock. And then their guitar player left and they were like trying out guitar players and they tried me out. And they're like, all right, cool. You got the gig. And then we like, we did like New York City shows, but nothing more than that. Yeah. Connecticut shows. Ooh, our bass player lived in Connecticut. So, yeah. Uh, I, I think. I think I hear some uh, hardcore riffs on uh, "Don't Panic," your the next scars, latest album. Oh hell yeah, yeah yeah. I mean, yeah that the I think the riffs on that album uh, 
don't really like represent like what we're compared to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, a lot of people will just be like, oh yeah, you know, like sounds like hot water music, but I'm like, I'm not playing like, you know, I like hot water music, but they're not like my guitar influences, you know Shred. what I mean? Like, yeah. 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 Like I grew up on like Gary Moore and uh, Richie Blackmore mm-hmm. and shit like that, you know, like Shredder's fucking, you know, so that's more my style, but you know. I yeah. love hot water music, don't get me wrong. Right. But. It sounds like you're trying to start a beef with hot water music. No. No, uh, <laughs> uh, no I'm, I'm going to see them. They're actually, like, speaking of the Hudson Valley, yeah, there's a uh, – so I live in Beacon, and if you go uh, probably a little less than an hour north, uh, there's Woodstock. Yeah. Which is, you know, where, of, like, the original Woodstock was right. supposed to be. And uh, there's a venue up there called Colony, and uh, hot water music's playing with uh, – who are they playing with? Uh, Wilhelm scream and make war. Oh, so that show should be sick. Yeah, I saw make war last month, and they're great. I'd never seen them before. Oh, sick! Yeah, we used to we used to play with them when they were called uh, said in French back okay. in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've known those dudes for years. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. Uh, did you have the? Did the record come out? I mean, what am I trying to say? Did you have the record already written before the pandemic and you decided to like sit on it and put it out? So we were in the studio recording in March of 2020. Mm, Yeah. And we had eight songs, I believe we went in with. So we went in for the first eight songs and the idea was like, we had studio time booked for March and, you know, we didn't have the album finished yet. So we went in, did the eight songs and we were like, while we're in the studio, we're like, yo, this COVID-19 things like picking right. up steam, like this, this is fucking kind of the real deal. And, uh, our engineer was very scared about it. Like his wife was, you know, she worked in a hospital and stuff. So he, he was very scared. And, uh, we did that session. We did the eight songs and he closed down the studio right after we left mm. there. Like he, he was done. Yeah. Um, so we, yeah, we did those eight songs and then, you know, we probably didn't pick back up again, like start playing again for like another eight, nine months. And then that's when we wrote, I think, two more songs. Yeah, finished off the album. Yeah. Uh, so. so this is y'all's first album, and yeah, I think I saw a, a split before. Um, oh yeah, yeah, we did a split with uh, God Damn It from Philly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so how long have y'all been a band? I think we started twenty nineteen. No, maybe 2018. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We started 2018, like end of 2018. Probably March of 2019 is when we recorded the split. Then we played some shows that year. Um, And then, yeah, in the next March, we went in for the album. Damn. And then COVID. The world fell, fell yeah, apart. Then, then, yep, then COVID. Yeah. So uh, Don't Panic, is that a uh, Hitchhiker's Guide? reference not really <laughs> it's not no no I've, I've never even seen the show um we've had we've had people actually hit us up be like you know really love hitchhiker's guide i've seen the movie i love the movie yeah but we we've had somebody hit us up and like love the reference <laughs> and uh they're like oh that's cool man uh uh the the only reason it's named Don't Panic is because of the album cover. Okay. And we so our buddy Mike Manhop, who like does our photography and stuff like that, we hit him up for the album cover because we, we liked his style. Yeah. And uh during the pandemic, like he just I think it was in Kingston where he uh where he took that picture, but he saw it and we we're like, kind of rules. So, uh, yeah, we, we were like, 
yeah, can we use that picture for the album? And we're obviously like going to name the album that, which, you know, it kind of works with like the lyrical content and stuff like that on the album. I yeah. Feel like so. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny that people hit you up about Hitchhiker's Guide because that was the first thing I thought whenever I heard of it. Heard the name. Yeah. 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 People do that. Yeah. I, I've never, I've never seen the show. It's a, uh, what it's a British show. Uh, it's, I think it was a book first and then they made that movie like in yeah. early two thousands. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was going to ask you what you think about all this new alien stuff coming out. You, you think aliens truly exist? Uh, according to Tom DeLong, yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, do aliens exist? Yeah, I mean, th- something does. Yeah, we don't know what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. I I don't know if it's like, uh, like, you know, like the fucking the skateboard character or anything like that. But uh, <laughs> Alien Workshop skateboards, ninety uh, skateboarding reference. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Aliens exist. Yeah. I'm into it. Is, are you are you into like conspiracy theories or anything like that? Any, anything? No, no, no. I'm pretty straightforward. A straight, a I, straight shooter. Yeah, yeah. I don't got time for that stuff anymore. I don't play like video games. Like I, I barely play like enough guitar as it is. <laughs> so like to like focus my time onto like other things is just doesn't seem real you know i'm just like uh, I, got to. I, I gotta get better at guitar before i, I deal with any other bullshit uh, there's not not enough headspace like i got you yeah you don't want to yeah. waste it yeah uh man see i'm i'm single without kids or anything so i just got nothing but time to to look into bullshit oh nice you see yeah you know the grass is always greener that's true mm. you know like uh yeah I got a, I got a kid here. Yeah, I have this uh, suburban home that I live in. So, <laughs> uh, speaking of which, I saw the Descendants on Friday. Oh, how was that? It was cool. They, they ripped. Nice. Um, With the- but yeah, in retrospect, like you're just at this packed show, and after the weekend, you're just like. Yeah, Friday, we was at this awful outdoor venue called Pier 17. Sound was awful. It was uh, $13, 12-ounce Tecates. Ooh. Yep, so you're spending... And me and my buddy went, we're like, you know, let's just have a fucking blast. You know, like, things are expensive, sound shitty, but let's just yeah. have fun anyway. But yeah, after the weekend, I was just like, I do not ever want to go out again. <laughs> like... Like it, it was like, yeah, that, that was scary in retrospect. It, it was like, everybody was too comfortable. Ah, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, that, that Delta variant is wild. Yeah. 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 I was like, ah, uh, should I go get a rapid test? Uh, yeah. But I was just like really hung over and like on Sunday. Cause I, I went to a barbecue on Saturday, but <laughs> Sunday I was just like really hung over and like had all this like anxiety mm. of fucking just so you're like you oh man what's going on oh, maybe i should go get a test uh, i don't know but, but you know, yeah i'm good now i feel fine <laughs> that's good i feel that the the anxiety like uh yeah you <laughs> could be you're just you know could be you're just hung over and not not the covid yeah yeah I, i'm pretty sure that's what it was yeah i i had a uh I had something similar happen last week where I was just dehydrated and hung over <laughs> and I had to go into work and I bought like a, a, a large Americano from Starbucks and I was having like a panic attack just because I don't know, my heart was just racing, just not, yeah, dehydrated. And I was like, this is it. I'm dying. I'm having a heart attack right now. Hmm. Um, Yeah. So you guys, are you guys looking to tour once, obviously once COVID dies back down with this, with this new uh, album? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, we were already talking about some uh, West coast dates. Nope. 
And uh, yeah, we were talking about maybe some small Europe stuff. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The question is, you know, I mean, the answer is yes. Yeah, we we would like to do some stuff. Probably not like long tours, just since we all have like shit going on. But you know, like five six days here and there. Mm. You yeah. know, split it up. Yeah. Uh, make it worth it for us to even go out but you know right. at the same time like be able to like go back to our jobs and stuff yeah it's tough whenever you're you know have a, a real adult gig <laughs> and a uh you know like you said family at the house yeah 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 my family is pretty supportive of yeah. what i do so like you know they'd hate to be like holding me back yeah you know yeah so oh, man. yeah it's cool yeah. Mm. When was the last time you felt like, like the most accomplished as like a a a musician or band person? Like you talking about flying to Europe? That that was like whenever the first time I flew on a plane to go play a gig, I was like, oh, this is I fucking made it. I mean, do you have a moment like that? No, nah, not really. I th- I th- I feel like uh, like made it wise. I, I don't know. Like maybe when we sell it out of our t shirts or something. Yeah. When I, like, yeah. You know what I mean, like, um, but yeah. I mean, it, the shows are just you know they're they're shows no matter what. At the end of the day, you're just having band practice in front of a bunch of people. That's true. You mm. know, like uh, I think you know. Like people were asking, you know, when we started playing shows again, they're like, what, what was it like? Did you feel weird? And I was like, same old shit, man. I've been doing this fucking yeah. <laughs> since I was like, you know, 15. So yeah. like, it, you know. Yeah. Uh, have you listened to the new turnstile, uh, EPs that have come out? Do you like them? I haven't, uh, what, what's the one song The holidays? Is yeah. Song? Yeah, that's that's a good song that popped up on my Spotify. Um, our bass player, he's a huge fan. Yeah, Turnstile. I don't dislike him. I just like never got into him. Yeah, yeah, they're doing this cool thing now. This like kind of like artsy, hardcore. If that makes sense, I don't know. Doing like a lot of like yeah. visual stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Which I like. Is there is there a uh, a current band that that you're stoked on? Uh, that's like currently doing something. Yeah. Uh, did you have you heard that band? Oh, the Humanity. Yes. Uh, yeah. They're on Hell Minded Records out of uh, New Jersey. We just played with them. Their album's fucking awesome. It's like a, it's like a Wilhelm scream style. Yeah. And they're from like the same area, so mm. um, th- they're pretty awesome. They're like localish, I guess. Um, as far as like bands that put out like sick albums this year, uh, oh, the new uh, Dirty Nil. Ooh, fuck art. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've There's been, good riffs on there. Yeah, I've been listening to that heavy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that, you see, that's like, that's kind of like our style, I feel like, like the the riffage and the fucking, the hooks. Right. That's kind of what we go for, I guess. Yeah, I think, I I, I think that comes across, you know? Yeah, Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that new Dirty Nils sick, uh, who else put out albums this year? Oh yeah, I got I got a twenty twenty one playlist right here. Okay. And <laughs> oh, we got thirty nil. Oh, that new uh, Weezer is sick. The, the Van Weezer Van album. Weezer, yeah. Yeah, that rules. The uh, the Cali Massey. Is that how you say it? Kali Ma- yeah. Kali Masi? Yeah. Kali Masi? 
Yeah, yeah, that album's sick. Um, the new Fiddlehead. Have you heard them? I've been li- I've been listening to the new one. Yeah. Oh, it's sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're great. Mm. Um. Yeah, it's that's like the stuff, you know. Besides, like I still listen to like the same shit that I listened to when I was like fifteen, though. I still right. listen to, like Bad Religion and send in some propaganda and yeah, you know, face to face. I think they're putting on a new album. Yeah, they're putting on a new album. They just released a new song. That was sick. Shit. Hmm. So much good, like quarantine music, I guess that's coming out. Oh yeah, yeah. I think last year there was a lot of good shit that came out too. Yeah. You guys did like an acoustic single, right? During. Yeah, yeah. Our our singer, like, he does acoustic shows. He put it on an acoustic album, like before we were in the band. Um, he's doing an acoustic set with. Uh, he's playing with Brendan Kelly, in nice. Brooklyn. Um, but when he does acoustic stuff, like as far as next cars, he gets our bass player Colin. He goes up and does like acoustic with them. Yeah. Um, I I don't even own an acoustic guitar. <laughs> don't uh, need it. No, no, that that's it's no, that's it's not my bag. Like I I've, I didn't grow up writing songs on acoustic. I I yeah, it's not my bag. So I'm like, you you guys do the acoustic thing. Like you know, Colin, our bass player, he played acoustic on our album. Like if yeah. there's any like acoustic in the background, that's him playing. Um, so yeah, no acoustic for me, but uh, yeah, we did the acoustic thing. Just put it out. Just like we we're just trying to stay relevant when we had couldn't finish our album. Right. Honestly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The uh, I, I watched like a, a rig rundown type video the other day with with the Dirty Nil guitarist, and he said a line that like is burned into my brain that uh, tone knobs are for apologists. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. I, as far as like my tone, like people are like, like we played in Connecticut like a week or two ago. And like, uh, this kid from the other band, I guess he had the same app as me. He's like, Hey man, you mind if I uh, check out your settings? I, I like really liked your tone. I was like, this man, <laughs> there was that the settings on that I set up are for fucking chumps. Like I don't get my tone from like, from my amp it's like how i play it like yeah. i i have like my bass at like seven my like yeah yeah so like like if it were like a clock like i'd be like oh yeah i got my uh i got my bass at like one or two o'clock i got my treble like going the opposite way down at like 11 mm. and then I got like my mid like before you even hit like the one <laughs> so like they're, they're, and like I, I showed to people and they're like no no that's not like that's not a tone I'm like that's uh you got you got a lot of ass behind it yeah I like it. Yeah, like yeah, it. exactly. But it it only works with how I play. Like right. anybody right. else that like played through that tone, they'd be like, "This sounds like shit." But yeah, it just works with the way my hands work. Yeah, that's I, it. Yeah, I, I'm not like I'm a gear guy, like, but a like peripheral gear guy. Like, I'm not. I don't. I can't tell you, like the the different hertz, and I can't tell you, you know what makes the best tone or like settings. And, uh, I feel like I should at this point. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't go by any of that. Like I said, like I've had like, you know, like people like try and tweak my amp and stuff like that. I'm just like, you're not going to get what you want out of it. Like, by the way, I play. (laughs) That's it. That's it. I, yeah, I play like a Mexican fat strat um with uh with the humbucker and I've wanted to like switch out that humbucker so many times throughout the years. Yeah. And uh I was like, oh maybe I should put like like a neon green Demarzio in there or like something cool like that and get like this sick sound. And then finally, like once I dialed it in with my orange head, 
which is a rocker verb 50. Nice. Um, every time I play it now, my practice, I'm like, I'm never fucking switching out that pickup. Cause this is like, I finally found the tone I've like been looking for for years. Like there it is in my stock fucking Mexican fat strat <laughs> pickup, you know? Yeah. So I'm not swapping it out. So that's it. It's staying yeah. there forever. Yeah. The, uh, it's funny. Like, cause as like a teenager or whatever, you just want the loudest fucking thing. But now mm-hmm. I find myself as I'm getting older, I'm like, more picky yeah yeah i i and i guess i have money to to spend on nice stuff now that sometimes yeah yeah i was talking to our singer will today about that stuff and he you know we were talking about like pedals and i'm not a big pedal guy at all but like during the pandemic he just bought so many fucking pedals (laughs) and he's like yeah i'm over it now he's like i think it was just a pandemic thing and uh He's like, yeah. I mean, usually I, I, I have a small pedal board now, but before I even did that, I mean, I'm straight up like tuner guy. That's it. Yeah. Fucking guitar, tuner, amp. Yeah. That's it. Now, like that we're playing shows and shit like that. It's like, all right, well, I guess I should probably fucking get a boost. So like, you know. My solos are louder and like, Hey, you know, there's that one riff on the album where I have reverb. <laughs> right. There you go. So I guess that justifies getting a reverb pedal. Oh yeah. And, mm. uh, yeah. But other than that, yeah, I don't really need any of that shit. Man, really. Do you need it? You need to set up like the edge and have just like this, you know, fucking monstrous pedal board. Oh no. I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> I, I will start the beef foot edge. I'll tell you that much. Mm-hmm. What, what's what's one of your your main uh, hatred of edge? Main gripe? Oh, his riffs. His riffs. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I just don't like like the the tone of their songs. Honestly, mm. like they could probably even be like good riffs, but like, yeah, it's, it just reminds me of that like. Uh, that VH1 mom music. <laughs> I gotcha. You know, I mean, that's what I think of. I think of being home and my mom playing VH1 and yeah, the fucking have no YouTube name. coming on. Come. And I'm just like, oh, this and fucking Don Henley and a bunch of trash. <laughs> can, I, can I be honest with you, Justin? Yeah, sure. There was... There was one, one song on Don't Panic where some of the vocal stuff reminded me of uh, Don Henley's Boys of Summer. Oh, all right. I, I made all a right. note of that. Oh, yeah. I can totally see that. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Uh, fuck. What song? I should have is made it. it I couldn't remember. It was later on in the album. Is it loaded? It might be loaded. Maybe it was. It, it, yeah, it was later on. I should have, I should have made the note of the song. But it's uh, probably loaded. And yeah. that song, yeah, that song's got like a. We did like almost no backup vocals on that song. Yeah, because we just liked how like the vocals sounded like so awesome alone. We're like, you know, we we did like a lot of layering on like a lot of the songs. Like I do like a lot of those high backups and shit like that. But that like I remember being in the studio and I was like, yo, I'm not even fucking with that one. It just sounds great. Yeah. Like Yeah. Hmm. Who uh do do all you guys contribute a lot to the songwriting? Oh yeah. Yeah, it was a uh, very Yeah. Yeah. Because uh we'd get to practice and we'd work through shit, but we worked a lot of like dynamics. You know, like even like our drummer, there'd be, there was like one song where he literally just started like humming like a guitar part over like the riff. And he's like, that's Justin, why don't you do this? And he like literally just sung like the chord progression. Yeah. And that was like my part. Um, 
but like as far as like full mold like will our singer demoed a lot of it and then he would send us the ideas i'd write my own guitar parts over it yeah um our bass player colin he wrote he wrote same thing he demoed out some songs and uh nothing anything that was demoed any demo we got never like the demos and the actual version are night and day yeah they they were just nothing ended up sounding exactly like it did on the demo even if we programmed drums and everything i mean even the guitar parts and arrangements weren't even the same so we all kind of like just hashed it out and made it go certain ways and you know we were like really into the dynamics and how like the parts went into each other and Mm -hmm. uh how the songs, you know, like we don't like, I don't think we ever just end on like the root note of like the song. Like if we do a ring out, it's like, Oh, what chord are we going to pick? You know, because yeah. we can't go back to this one. Or if, you know, like we do hits and stuff like that, like we calculated like out how many hits we wanted to do and like the timing of the hits and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Like if you listen to that song unfinished, like, yeah the hits just like it's just one of those things where like if you wrote that song you'd be like no why why are they doing the hits like this but it (laughs) sounds good to like a listener ear but like when you're playing it you're just like it's always like one beat after where you think it would be yeah yeah that's uh that's one thing i noticed that there's a lot of there's a lot of musicianship on the album without it being like not like noodly noodly yeah yeah i was looking for the yeah, right word yeah 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 it's not like uh yeah it's not like you know it's just like wanking off like a right guitar like, Ing- like Ingve malstein just like you know shredding yeah yeah i love Ingve malstein <laughs> he's wacky yeah well that's the thing like he's a great guitar player but does he have like any good songs no right i don't like you know I, I, does he he doesn't sing on anything either it's just him shredding yeah but he's he has like singers on his album that's weird yeah <laughs> I love it though yeah I, I have some album scene records yeah um, yeah I, I inherited those like my dad gave me his album records my dad was like very like uh new wave british heavy metal Ooh. type yeah so like that like a lot of dio and thin lizzy and shit like that which yeah. i hated until like i got older like when i was younger my dad was like hey like this is what you gotta listen to and i was like fuck you fuck that i'm learning guitar i'm gonna learn how to play the bruise by no effects right and it was the worst fucking idea ever i was like <laughs> i I was like, oh man, I should have just like learned all those songs my dad told me were cool and I'd be like <laughs> better. But it took me to like, you know, I was like a senior in high school smoking pot to like put one of those albums on and be like, oh yeah, this shit rules. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh man. Hmm. But now I'm in. I, you know, I eventually told him he was right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've I found myself listening thing to I'm more open minded to listen to stuff that you know maybe before where I was just like this is you know this is fucking stupid I'm not gonna listen to whatever to kiss you know something like that where you know well you even go- like stuff when I was like a brat like you know like bands like more like emo ish type bands like like you couldn't fucking catch me like listening to like the promise ring when I was in high school <laughs> fucking, and now I'm like, Oh, that's actually a good album. Yeah. Uh, or like you ever hear that band American nightmare? Yeah. Fucking. I never listened to that band because I was like, Oh, they, they named their band after a fucking misfit song. Like mm. fuck that. That's what cover bands do. Yeah. And then like my buddy's like, really man, you don't like American nightmare. And he puts it on. I'm like, Oh no, this rules. Yeah. yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, this is really good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like shit like that, just like, you know. So like I was very like close minded growing up. And now like there's a lot of bands that you know I was into 
growing up and that was just like now i'm like no no those bands are actually good yeah but then there was like also some stuff that like i got like tricked into liking just because it was like cool at the time like (laughs) and fucking like the used and like thursday and all those fucking bands and like every like cool chick in fucking high school like listen to those bands I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get into this. Yeah. And, like, I faked liking it. Like, I told myself, like, I liked it, but I never actually liked it. I just remember, like, one day I just, like, I was like, you know what? I'm lying to myself. I don't like this music. And I took all those fucking CDs and I brought them down to the store and I sold them back. I was like, I'm out. Wow, man. You had a a rebirth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, fuck this shit. (laughs) Oh, shit. Uh well, that was the thing. Like in the early two thousands, everybody was getting into like, you know, it was like more, I guess, you know, quote unquote emo. Yeah. And uh, but I grew up like listening to fast punk shit, and then like when everybody like started like slowing down and that, I was like, nah, man, like I want to go further, like more fast shit. So I started listening to, like metal. Yeah. I was like, I was like, that's like a progression to me. Right. Like, you know, it's like it's like. You know, it's like what you're like, you find the roots of bands like strung out and propaganda and all that shit. And you're like, that's where those dudes get like their chops from. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, I found that's a good thing to do to find out who inspired, you know, your favorite band. And oh, hell yeah. Just kind of, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Going back to the roots. Mm, the roots. Yes. Uh, I've, I, I, I like to do a, uh, lightning round of questions Sick. at the end. And, um, and why is, I'm using the, the term lightning very loosely. You you can say yeah. as, as much as you want or, or as little as you want. <laughs> lightning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, you know, I'm sure there's fast lightning and there's slow lightning, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, what, uh, all right. What's what's your favorite uh, truck stop or gas station when you're on the road? Uh, sheets. Sheets. Boom boom sauce. Yeah. Shit rules. Sheets is good. Uh, we, sheet, you know. sheet rules. That <laughs> sheet rules. Yeah. There, you know, there's always different camps of, of sheets versus. Uh, it's you know, versus Wawa, right? Wawa, yeah. Yeah, Wawa doesn't compare. Wawa might have the better better uh, pretzel though. Mm. The the thing I like about Sheets is the, the you know the made to order food where you go and get a little screen and. Yeah. 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 Mm. I don't think Wawa has that. No. Mm. Quick Check has that. Quick Check. You know about Quick Check? Uh, that, you can find it in Jersey. Mm-mm. Yeah, Quick Check's the thing. Yeah. New York, New Jersey. Mm, yeah, it's not great. It's not great. <laughs> have Have you had the opportunity to go to a Bucky's? No. Mm, yeah, you know, you know about Bucky's. No, Bucky's is uh, it started in Texas and like they'll have like two hundred pumps and like the convenience store part is like the size of a a Walmart kind of. Oh, sick! Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's okay. it's just silly and absurd, you know. It's one of those like, uh, only in America, you know. <laughs> only in America, literally. Could a Bucky's exist? Yeah. What's uh What's the worst punk rock bathroom you've had to go number two in? Mm-hmm. Or just a use? Ah. Yeah. Uh... I I can't be like specific because I don't really mind that stuff. Like I've never, <laughs> yeah, that like I've never I've never sat on the throne at CB's. Um, mm. You know I wish I could say I have, but no, I've I've never sat on the throne there. Um, I never even like had to go to the bathroom at CB's. I was like, I remember going to CB's when I was younger and. I would wear like long sleeve shirts to the show and I wouldn't even be sweating. I remember seeing like Jimmy G from Murphy's Law. He's like, oh, look at you. He's like, your sweat glands. They haven't even developed yet. <laughs> and uh, I was like, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not even sweating. I'm a child. Um, yeah. But yeah, I can't. Yeah. That stuff doesn't bother me. I've never like, I've never dreaded that. 
And like, I'm just like, oh, this is like just it's part of it. You, know? mm. so, you let it wash over you. It's it's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't mind any of that stuff. I'm never like, oh, I gotta go. I mean, I also work construction in there. I like there's porta potties. Ah. I see every day. So I'm like, yeah. Mm. What's what's the what's the craziest thing you've seen in your construction uh, career? Uh, I mean, crazy is a uh, crazy like. Uh, have you seen like a crazy injury or anything? No, no. Luckily, luckily, I nice. have not. Knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. Uh, yeah, I've never. T- oh man, yeah. I have- see. I see like one of my buddies. Like I was working on one day, and like we were like up on a roof, and he like just stumbled at one point. I'm like, "What's up, man? Do you like trip on something?" He's like, "No, I just, I just, I just tripped on myself." And I'm like, "Oh, he's like, yeah, I'm just clumsy." And then like later that day, it was like raining. We were walking out, and there was like this uh, sewer cap that was like, like while they're building it, like before they like pave it, that it's kind of like dug out a little bit. Yeah. And he like, I was like mid conversation with him, and as he's like talking, he trips over and he like stumbles like three times and like falls like in the mud. And I'm just, oh my oh. man, my man is not not built for construction work. Uh, yeah, 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 no, yeah. He he's ultimately a programmer, so yeah. I, f- I feel that I can relate. Yeah, uh, yeah. So he's like, I he's just like, uh, I'm like, all right, man. I'll see you later. So, but yeah, I haven't seen anything too crazy. At least I don't know. Like, I work. I even work like in uh, prisons. Like I do construction work. Like. Today I was at like Sullivan County Prison and I talked to people and they're like, so like, are the prisoners around you? I'm like, yeah. Like I have, a, I have like, do you have a gun? Correctional officer oh. like with me, but like <laughs> I walk through and like, you know, I'm doing my thing. Like they don't say anything to you or, you know, it's just like this. I don't know. I guess I'm like numb to a lot of things in life, I guess. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like, oh, dude, like the, the guy from the fucking Amityville Horror is in there in the in the prison I work at. Damn. And he's just like, you know, this fucking dude, old dude with long hair, just fucking doing his thing. I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Do you- so I guess that's crazy, right? <laughs> that's <laughs> the Amity- Yeah. <laughs> you should ask him. I guess, I don't know. Are you not supposed to talk to people? Nah, we we just don't talk to each other every now and then like like the ones that have like like uh that under like good behavior they get jobs and stuff like that like so every now and then like you'll be like in a spot where like they'll be working and you know they'll be talking to like a ceo or something but i mean i have no reason to talk to them so yeah gosh i'm i'm too like uh I would have to say something. I'm 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 like a cat, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't be stopped, uh, man. And I'm just thinking about you know that that Shawshank Redemption. You know, I I hope like, you know, you gotta you gotta make sure those walls are 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 thick, you know. Yeah. Have you seen the new uh, Little Nas X uh, video? Yeah, yeah. Pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> ah, let's see uh what's your worst uh borders slash customs experience mm, uh when i was very young i wouldn't say it was horrible i've never had really like, really bad time but it, it was just kind of funny when we were uh we we're young we we're yeah. driving up and i think we had two different cars like going across the border and uh we get to the border and uh, my buddy, John, who's driving, they're like, oh, where are you going? And he's like, uh, going to, we're going, we're going to see a punk show. We we're playing a show, but he's like, I'm going to see a punk show in Monterio. Monterio. Oh, God. 
I'm like, oh, John. Like, all remember. right, get out of the go park. Yeah, go they're inside. like, all right, just pull over there. Yeah, uh, all right, pull over there. Oh, yeah. shit. But, dude, I mean, I remember, like, we'd cross the border, like, in a van with no windows in the back. And they're like, how many people you got back there? We're like, uh, two in the front, four in the back. They're like, all right, four total. All right, you guys are good. Yeah. We're like, but like, it's it's like, it doesn't matter. Like, it's all luck of the draw. Yeah. Like, some Like, you could be super sketchy and it wouldn't even matter yeah. some days. Mm, just depends on the crossing guard. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. I mean... So yeah, we've never had an issue. We never got turned away at the border, thank God. And uh, getting back in is just always easy. I mean, it's funny. You you by the time you come back in and you just like open up the van door, like they you, they just smell it. Yeah. Like, oh God, you guys are gross. Go, go home. <laughs> oh shit. What's um? Do you have a favorite regional beer? Is, is there a New York regional beer? Yeah, man. Uh, uh, well, I'll say brewery, right? Yeah. Uh, Hudson Valley Brewery. Oh shit. Yeah, these guys. Uh, all my friends work there. They do. Uh, it's like a sour IPA, but they uh, they do standard IPAs. They do uh, pilsners. They do dark lagers. They uh diverse brewery yeah and uh yeah i mean honestly i was uh i was a fan before like i was friends with these people so Mm -hmm. um yeah it's not like i just like it because like it's in my hometown and uh my friends work there but yeah their beer is awesome uh but if you know that's like you know these are like 20 dollar four packs so (laughs) i have to slum it up right you know, I'll I'll drink uh, some Coors Banquet. Hell yeah, or some uh, or some thirteen dollar twelve ounce Tecates at fucking Descendants. They, yeah, the they Descendants just taste show. sweeter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sour grapes. Mm. You should uh, you should get Hudson Valley to do a, a Don't Panic uh, Pale Ale. Yeah. Oh man, what did we talk about? Uh, some of Will's friends work at uh. Oh yeah, we were talking about uh doing a like a loaded IPA actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we got to figure it out. I mean, these guys like they're you know, they have their like their base. So, I mean, I don't know if they're small enough to where they'd want to do a band or where the band they'd want to do. <laughs> I've never even talked to them about it, but uh yeah, we could get them to do it. Will's got friends over at uh Decadent. Um that's another brewery. I think they're in Westchester County in New York. And uh, it's funny, like the guys that work there, they were all like tour dudes yeah. that like, you know, during the pandemic had to find new jobs. So like, you know, our buddy Kenny that worked over at like um, Webster Hall, you know, uh, he's working there and like uh, the guy that does like merch for like the Gaslight Anthem, he's like working there yeah. you know so like that's like a lot of punk rock dudes over there now that's sick mm. yeah so yeah yeah i would i would love to get a fucking our own beer that'd be yeah. sick i tried the the strung out beers last year during the pandemic not feeling it not great not Wasn't great hidden. They, they released three beers i think they did like uh they did like a west coast ipa um, but they did like a golden ale that was like surprisingly like, the best fucking beer out of the batch. Yeah. It was very good. Whenever like there's like a, a band puts out a beer or something, I'm always hesitant to think, you know, is this going to be actually good? Or if it was just like, Hey, let's put our name on a beer. Descendants beer was awesome. Was it? Yeah, it was like it was like it was a coffee IPA, I think. Ah, nice. It it was fucking it yeah. Yeah. Like you said, oh dude, hate breed put out a beer. It, <laughs> oh man, what is this? It's like live for this lager or something. And now is the time rolled. for me to hops. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it was yeah. It's funny. The guy one of the I think like the guitar player or something from Hate Breed 
dropped it off at like the beer store that I got it from. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. That beer was good. What's uh what's the most expensive t shirt that you bought? <sighs> Man. I'm trying to think if I like actually like I've been like searching for like Judas Priest like shirts on eBay for like years and they're all like <laughs> 200 and like higher Ooh. so i've never pulled the trigger on any of those um i think if i've actually like pulled the trigger on like a vintage tea i think otherwise i just end up like spending like a rando like like 40 with shipping or something like yeah. that but yeah i've never like actually got like the vintage tees that I want. I saw uh, Diesel Boy, one of my favorite bands growing up. They just finally put up merch. So that's cool. But <laughs> yeah, t-shirt specifically, right? If, if you can't think of a t-shirt, like maybe just item of clothing. That interests me as well. Mm, I, you know, I've never, I never spent a lot on an item of clothing. Really? I haven't done it yet. Treat yourself, Justin. Get, get yeah, a, get yeah, a, yeah. It's, it's, it's coming. Get a big, expensive hat or something. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. You know, I'm like, I'm going to find something later and be like, oh, yeah. Like, but like on the flip side, I have like this sick fucking Ultimate Warrior jacket from like my childhood that's probably worth like fucking $250. Damn, yeah, man. Mm. Are, are you into wrestling as an adult? No, not as an adult. No, it was a child. Oh yeah, I think I bought like a like a, a sweet like vintage Mets shirt at uh, the Baseball Hall of Fame. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, my buddy, his uh, his dad uh, is at this conference where Daryl Strawberry is, is speaking. I was like, oh shit, oh, sick. That's fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, he needs some money. Yeah, <laughs> hard times. Uh. What's your what's your perfect pizza? I mean, I'd say no toppings. Straight cheese. Oh yeah, yeah. So now, like, it's a question of whether it's like square, circle, Ooh, or yeah. white, right? Yeah, white or red. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I don't know. I fuck Sicilians. Like if I get a good Sicilian, I'm stoked. Um, but yeah, like standard pie with rules. Margarita is great. Mm. Grandma pie. Yeah, yeah. I don't fucking I don't fuck with toppings. I mean, I like I do, but like it's never like as good as like without it. Like damn, that's true. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. If if you got a bad base, you know you can't build with you can't make you know the bad base with good toppings. You know you can't overcome that. Exactly, and you know what? Like you start loading up toppings and like starts to droop. Mm. It's heavy. It's no. not like it's a mess. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So I mean, uh, I'll go with I'll go with a Sicilian or grandma or you know, like if I go to like. When I was doing construction in New York City, we would go to Joe's yeah. in uh, the West Village, and I do like I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm getting the triple threat." It would be like uh, a Sicilian margarita on a plane. Yeah. Wow. And that rule. That's sick. Yeah. Um, I didn't know about how much scaffolding is in New York City. Uh, like until I watched this show on HBO recently. What show? Uh, what is, oh man, it's a documentary show. People do things. People doing things. Something like that. It's it's oh, this okay. weird like Tim and Eric produce it, and it's just this strange. This guy's going around the cities and just filming just random stuff. And he did one on scaffolding in New York. And he went to the scaffolding convention in New Orleans, like right before. That's I sick. Yeah, I don't know if you heard of like 
there's a hard rock being built in New Orleans, like the hotel casino, and it collapsed last nice. in 2019. And uh, that's what he did the show on. Nice. It was strange. Mm. A whole world that I don't know about. Uh, yeah, man. In conjunction with the pizza question, what do you want on your tombstone? Oh, I don't want a tombstone. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll do a, uh, you, you could, uh, I'll do a uh, Frank Reynolds, you know, throw me in the throw trash. In the trash. Love it. Yeah. Oh man. Well, uh, we've done about an hour here, Justin. Uh, I think we can wrap this thing up. Do you, uh, do you have hey. any, do you have any closing sentiments or anything you want to say? Nah, man. Uh, you know, uh, Hopefully people dig the album. If you haven't heard it, uh, check it out. And uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, uh, stay on for a minute. But uh, you had options, but you decided to talk to me. And I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Hell Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, thanks, dude. Yeah, hell yeah.